western Nebraska, where the Central Flyway highballs like an express train running full steam across the prairies. This is a hot area. It's perfect for waterfront. <laughs> I don't mind that at all, do you? For Steve Ferris, rocker, Nebraskan, and waterfowl fanatic, the Platte River country's the place to be. Let's go, right here. It's about hitting hard. <laughs> that was good stuff. But hitting them good. Go. Bango! Take him, take him. <laughs> Death in western Nebraska. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. By Hunter Specialties, for sportsmen, by sportsmen. By Ram, there are a lot of places to go in this big wide world and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. And by Swarovski Optic. <laughs> I'm Steve Ferris, born and raised in eastern Nebraska. Something about the ducks had this magic. Something about that whole deal was just in me from before I was even allowed to do it. Rock guitarist by vocation, Steve Ferris is a hunter by avocation, having chased the hunting dream all the way from Africa to Alaska. But no matter how far he goes, it's the ducks and geese of his native Nebraska that always call him home. Take it, take it. Good work, you rocked him. Rock, I like that sort of thing. I'm a firm believer in having a big sounding call in this area. It isn't just the sharpness and the treble part of the call. When I say big, I'm talking about the full sound. It's about hitting hard, but hitting them good. If you can sound like a duck and convincingly, give it to him and give it to him all the way. Get him, get him, get him. Nice you done there, Jason Gilbertson. Jason Gilbertson, you have to decide to yourself as a hunter what is the opportune time to take that shot. Three o'clock, get ready, go. Nice, Jason. Making his Nebraska waterfowling debut with Steve Ferris is Winchester Ammo's Jason Gilbertson. When I heard I'd have a chance to hunt with Steve in this landscape, I thought, okay, this is the real deal. This is Steve Ferris in his, in his element. <laughs> Get him, get him, get him. Wow, nice shot. Steve knows this area, that's one thing, but he also knows ducks. Ferris and Gilbertson chose Cheyenne Ridge Outfitters, a guide service that spans three prairie states and specializes in waterfowl along the North Platte River. Ask guide Jim McKenzie. Jim McKenzie. Great shot. The lodge here is uh, situated on about 6,000 acres of land. We own three and a half miles of uh, the North Platte River, both sides. <laughs> Three right in front, 12 o'clock. Here in western Nebraska, we're in the Central Flyway. A lot of agriculture around here to, to really feed up the uh, waterfowl. Take them, take them. Ducks and geese will come down from Canada through North Dakota and South Dakota and stop off here. Nice shot, Steve. Bango! Did nice. that drop stone cold dead? Or? <laughs> you stone know, there was cold. a second before the shot hit him, he was still alive. He was still alive. This morning we hunted uh, the East Blind, which is uh, historically one of our better blinds. It's uh, on a bank, uh, come down the bank, and the, the blind is right there, and then it drops off about three feet into the water. It's shallow. It's braided streams, uh, lots of channels, islands, sandbars. Uh, it's perfect for waterfowl. Take him. Ducks are flying, it's, it's fantastic. It did not take long, the sun's rising, and everything is picture perfect. <laughs> One of those goose decoys fell over again. Fell over again? Yeah. That's all right there. There goes two of them. Yeah. Except for this, this wind situation uh, is a little extreme. We were fighting wind, and I mean 60 mile an hour <laughs> gusts. They keep pulling back far that way and drifting up, it's like they're just fighting it too hard. It's tough, they're, they're coming in here and wanting to dive in and the wind's just pushing them right out. We're gonna have to take them sooner. Oh. 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 
Jim, you got him, right? Yep. I'm right, you call it. Take, take! Cody! Good shot, good shot. Dead like I like him, Jason. Bro, oh, goose. Where are you? Left, right? Three, uh, right here, right at 3 o'clock, get ready. Come right in the deep, boys. Okay. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Go. Cody, set! Nicely done. Man, really look at that. Wow. Oh, he hit hard. What do we say from here to that goose decoy? About 135 yards. <laughs> 135 yards, yeah. Right on top, right on top. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Get ready to shoot. Get ready to shoot. Get ready to shoot. Get take him, take him, take him. Oh, oh, nice I shot. Could. Nice shot. Thank you. Get ready. Get that, get that, get that, get that. <laughs> that was awesome. Bring him around, bring him around, bring him around. Take him, take him, take him. Ooh. Oh, man. Not good shot. All right. Man, you guys are killing him. That was sweet. That was dead is what it was. Yeah. But this is a tough day's work right here. Oh, yeah. Good shoot. Blind size rocking him. I like yeah, it. Yeah, man. I like good it. Good work. 140 years of shot shell innovation went into Winchester's new blindside waterfowl ammunition. First came six-sided headshot for less pass-through, giving maximum 1,400 feet per second knockdown power. And this innovative shot is stackable for denser loads. Then came the diamond cut wad for more consistent and more generous killing patterns. Plus a re-engineered dry lock system, meaning less recoil and better hunting. This is a brand new test for us. It's one thing to shoot clay targets and test it on pattern boards and shoot it into gelatin, but when we sell ammunition and when we want people in the field, they want to know how it's going to react on ducks, and, and this was a great opportunity for us. It's always nice to be shooting guns and ammo that actually perform. We talk about ammo and stuff, but yeah. that wind is tough. Yeah. And we were still drilling them. Yeah. At right. 40 yards. Right. We're going to try a couple of these today, huh? Yeah. This afternoon, maybe? You bet. I have a good feeling about today. I guess I have to start liking killing geese. Oh, that's right, I do. <laughs> okay. More coming out from 12:30. Yeah, to there's, a, there's a bunch over that tree. Yep. There. there they are out there. Here comes a single. Here they come, guys. Go. Nice shot, Steve. Thanks. Got more birds out here. Yeah, a little more. A little more. Right above you, right there, Jason. Yeah. Nicely done. Yes! Oh. In Western Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. Jason, right, on, right on top of me. That's a nice presentation. Another big bunch coming in at noon. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come nice. here. Nice. Wow. That was awesome. Good cone. Good death. Yeah, this here in Western Nebraska. That's right. It's been a great day, huh, Jason? I've had a blast. I know there's prime rib. Slow cooking. Well, how about we pack up and go do that? I'm in. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, this frozen. <laughs> Things get a little slow, really slow, in fact. Make a move, even if it's wrong. We are making the move, a quick move. Then everything kind of explodes. Right there, let's go. Kill him, guys. I don't mind that at all, do you? <laughs> no, we're talking about killing yeah. geese. That, that's good, <laughs> isn't it? Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. By Ram. There are a lot of places to go in this big, wide world, and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. By Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. And by Swarovski Optic. Hunting with ducks, and I don't know, but I was locked in the first go. Dad had come home from hunting trips, and he'd have duck heads or pheasant heads from cleaning, and he'd save the heads to show me. And as a little boy, he was fascinated with it. All I wanted to do was go hunting. 
I like that. I like that I too. I like that whole, you know, duck hunting. As a Nebraska boy here, and he's very involved in conservation as a whole and waterfowling uh, specifically. Indeed, Ferris's love of waterfowl involves more than just hunting them. I've been doing a lot of uh, waterfowl development, wetlands, and site designs, and that sort of thing. A major part of waterfowling for Ferris is creating and enhancing duck and goose friendly habitats along the North Platte. This ground is not unlike other river ground along the Platte River system. Very sandy soil, it's made up of uh, corridors of basically two things. You've got wetlands in certain areas, and you've got trees in other areas. We've got both things. We've got food source and we've got cover, the two things you need. And of course, there's water in the sloughs, water in the river. It's ideal. It's just ideal. Platte River means a lot to me. It's what I grew up learning and understanding about wildlife. Not only ducks and geese, but deer, turkey, all kinds of wildlife really depend on this artery of uh, habitat. Hunting in Nebraska doesn't end with ducks and geese. Or pheasants, grouse, and quail. Wild turkey, whitetail, and mule deer, pronghorn, and even elk and bighorn are native to the state. I like hunting. I like it. It's a good thing. First buck on this property for me, and uh, kind of excited about it. As always, you think they're huge. Well, hopefully, hopefully he's a good one. Not a bad uh, representation. But waterfowl still hold pride of place. This afternoon, we're doing uh, goose hunting in the blinds. We've got uh, three or four pit blinds set in cornfields that uh, historically are really good for us. It's just north off the uh, North Platte River. Uh, about a quarter mile. We find that we'll get geese coming back and forth from there and uh, they pretty much set right down on us. Geese to me are, are funny creatures. They have a big vocabulary. You know, you try these things and you just try these voices and things until you see reaction. It's about the same as ducks. There's just more vocabulary with geese. And you start to find that something's turning them, something they're like, and generally my feeling is that you see a move on that, that's what you hang on, you stick with that. Something they like and you just keep giving it to them. Get ready. We had pairs come in. You kind of remind each other, I'll take the left, you take the right. Let's go, right here. I don't mind that at all, do you? <laughs> no, we're talking that, about killing yeah, geese. That, that's good, <laughs> isn't it? I know two more creatures that don't like that ammo. Right out of the gate, we have two geese come in. Steve shoots one, I shoot the other. We've been here for four minutes and uh, you got two geese down. I, I apologize for the wait. I think you should. <laughs> I'd be ashamed of myself if I were you. Nice shot, Steve. There you go. Good work. One for TV. With the calling of geese, we'll try and do something a little bit different. Uh, we use a flag quite a bit. You've really got to catch them. There's so many different flocks going over and they're moving back and forth. Baby, come on, you kid. Yep, yep, yep. you really got to be calling a little bit more, uh, get their attention further out. They're a little bit higher. They're moving a lot faster than most people give them credit for. OK. <laughs> Coming. Kill them, guys. Then everything kind of explodes within the last 25 minutes. We've got ducks. We've got geese. It's a mess. It's a good mess. Can you let me know? Stay on, should I? Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, great shot. Steve, outstanding. Uh, obviously, Steve Ferris and Jason Gilbertson are top-notch shooters, I'm sure, but this is one of the few hunts that uh, the dog has really not had to work that hard. <laughs> Get ready, I'll talk. Right there, let's go. It's exactly what you want as a duck hunter because it was phenomenal. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Thanks, man. That was a good day. That Look was at awesome. the birds here. Yeah. I love watching them pour in like that. We had a good rush at the end. Sure did. Lots of ducks. Yeah. No, I was going to quit duck hunting, but I think I'll keep doing it. That's good to hear. <laughs> Look at these ducks, man. Here he comes. Nice. We. Done. Get it, get it, get it. Nice shot, Steve. Bango! There you go. Nice shot. Coach, there nice. we are! That was good stuff. Way to finish it. Way to finish it. Way to finish it. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. By Hunter Specialties, for sportsmen, by sportsmen. By Redhead.
finest in the field since 1856. And by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Take him, take him, take him. Cody's a little bit younger. This is his uh, starting his second year here at the at uh, Cheyenne Ridge. Release, release. Good boy, Kennel. You can just see that head coming out, and the eyes constant, just constant, constant, constant. And they just live for it, running across that Platte River, which is a necessary thing when you hunt right, right on the river, those currents and everything. Great to watch them work. Go to here. Good boy, good boy. Even though the ducks are coming here and the geese are coming here before they move on further south, it can be pretty wary. We will try not to call a whole lot uh, until they're, they're moving in. They look like they're gonna make a decision, then we'll call a little bit. Another one right on top of us. <laughs> hey, hey. Nicely, secondly done. Duck locked up at two. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Nice shot, Steve. Bingo. Nice shot. Nice work. Like that, man. I that was good. That deployed perfectly. You know, I think I like that. Though. I think I, uh, I wasn't so certain. I'm with you. Revolutionizing waterfowl hunting is the new Winchester blindside ammunition, and this edition of the Winchester Ammunition Training Tip features waterfowling experts discussing the benefits of the American Legend's latest load. I tell you, this is the first time that I've seen the Winchester blindside ammo. I'm really impressed with the way this uh, ammunition shoots. It's great when you're actually using ammunition that you're believing in as soon as you're using it. And it was pretty interesting, this new technology that Winchester's doing, because I've seen it where I've had five shooters in the blind and all great shots where you get up and you have 25 ducks in front of you and one falls between five shooters on a windy day and you look at each other and you laugh and it happens again the next time you're kind of like, I mean, it can be terrible trying to hit things. The beauty of yesterday was that they weren't really getting away. Ducks and geese are hit and they go down and they stay down. We're getting 10 to 15% more packing density than a standard round steel or the mix shot that you find out on the market. I've got a standard ounce and a quarter of round steel shot. So this is what you would normally see in any standard ounce and a quarter load. This is the new hex shot. It's plated shot. Uh, it is steel. But because of the packing density, there's actually an ounce and three-eighths of shot in here. You're going to get, on average, about 156 pellets in the standard steel. In blindside, you're going to see 172 pellets. This episode of Training Camp was brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Three ducks in front. <laughs> <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> yep, yeah, all three drakes. <laughs> left, left, and then we'll go to the middle. That's okay. right. Let's get ready. Let's go. Nice. Nice double on your part, man. You beat me to that middle duck, man. That was Here. machine work. Here we go. Coming right. back around. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot, Steve. That was, that was awesome. Just like duck on. I like that sort of thing. Nice. Lee, done. He's stone dead yeah. in the air. It's amazing how that works. I like it. I'm happiest about that shot is that's my turn. Right. <laughs> that's a very good point. Another one at 9 o'clock high. <laughs> Coming around on the right. Coming around on the right. Hard, 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 buddy. There you go. Somebody get that. I'm good. Get it, get it. Nice shot, Steve. That was good stuff. Way to finish it. Way to finish it. Beautiful. Six limit, duck limit, limit for yeah. both of us. Yeah. Odd duck. Yeah. Including widgeons. Yeah. Shrine Ridge is a great place. It's very well run with very good people running it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Jim. Appreciate this you guys is, coming. This has been great. Great, great, uh, great example of North Platte River hunting, right. man. We got yep. a great thing going. Absolutely, it's good to be. I able know to you see probably it. hate it here. But. No, it, it it grows on you. you know? <laughs> Jim does a great job. Runs a great railroad, as I say. They're doing a good job here. They've got quite a bit of land here. Great waterfowling area. Great for ducks and geese. Has been for a long, long time. They're right in it. They're right in the middle of it. Cheyenne Ridge is a is a fantastic facility. Uh, I've been here for a couple days now. I've had a chance to 
sit in many couches and enjoy a whole bunch of meals and just relax a little bit. For me, this is an experience that I, uh, I don't want to forget and I'll chalk it up as one that I'll do again. Wonderful food, wonderful accommodations, great hunting. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, Winchester has you covered online. Visit winchester.com to learn about innovative new products, promotions, and what ammo to choose for your next adventure. Launch the award-winning ballistics calculator. Customize your shooting conditions and choose and compare your favorite ammo from five categories. Download the app for your iPhone and carry the ballistics calculator with you in the field or on the range. Be a part of the Winchester Hunting and Shooting Nation. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. From expert hunting and shooting tips to exclusive video footage and news, Winchester is your online resource for all things hunting and shooting. Winchester.com. Experience the American legend. You know, an old saying, I've had basic lessons since I was three. <laughs> I like to bring my own Sherpas to most of these hunts. I can't even get the gun on it so windy. Can so I give you a little break? I'm going to lose. <laughs> I'm going to end up in the river. Sometimes you got to make a move. What do I know? Even if it's wrong, <laughs> <laughs>